Oi, vey. Oh, hey, what's up? Didn't see you there. It's your boy DJ Color TV. And today we're going to talk about how to properly calibrate your Technique 1200 turntable. Um, you know, over time, your pitch fader will eventually start to go off, pull apart, or something like that. And, you know, if you want properly calibrated turntables, it's pretty easy to do and you can do it yourself. All you need is a screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and your hands. So, let's get started. First things first is you're gonna wanna take off the platter, which can be a little bit tricky sometimes, or sometimes you can pull it straight up with these two holes right here. And if it gets stuck, you just take the back of your screwdriver and bang the spindle and pull up at the same time. I had to do that with this one earlier. So, oh, I have to do it again now. Let's do it. There we go. Boom, comes right up. All right, let's put that. Now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is undo these one, two, three, four, five screws all around. I have already done that. I have the screws right here. They're quite little. So make sure you don't lose them. And then you're gonna pop off this little protector plate right here. Now, it says, uh, you know, don't do it with electricity on, but it's okay. Now, you got your little circuit board here and you see this blue thing right here? It's the pitch and you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but right above it, it says pitch. So just in case you think you're in the wrong, if you think you're in the wrong area of the, of the turntable, just you know, just see it and it says pitch right there. So also it requires either a flathead or a Phillips head screwdriver um, to, to make that turn. Okay, so now that we have everything taken apart, we're gonna grab our platter again and we're not gonna put back the other piece yet. And we're just gonna put the platter right back on the spindle. And it depends on which uh, technique turntable you're using, sometimes you can get your screwdriver into this hole and adjust, adjust it without um, taking the platter on and off every single time. But it, this one, it's a little bit too far in and also the screwdriver I have to use is a little bit too short. If you have a longer one, you might be able to get that in there. Um, okay, so we have everything prepped. Now let's turn the turntable on and let's see how you actually test if your turntable is properly calibrated. Now, you see these, these dots right here, right? These represent the different places of the, the pitch fader. So the big dot is at zero. The little dot here, in the, like right above it, is plus 3.3. And then this little dot above that is plus six. The little dot on the bottom below the big dot is minus 3.3. Okay, so what does that mean? When this is spinning and you have the glow from the, the red light on the other side, let's say at zero, then the big dot will appear to not move. If it looks like it's running forward or, or blinking or something like that, then it definitely is in the wrong place. Okay, so I'm gonna have to show you guys in a little bit of a darker area, but uh, I'm gonna just cup this and, and test it on my own. All right, so let's check out the zero. Okay, zero seems to be staying in place pretty well. All right, now let's go up to the second dot. I'm just gonna keep moving it until the second dot, right above the big dot, stops jogging. And this is pretty far. Okay, so that's about a little less than four, so about 3.8. Okay, so that means, you know, we gotta go down. Um, it's like wide or less wide. And then let's go up to six with the top dot. It's kind of hard to see in this light, but that's okay. Uh, okay, stop about there. That's about right below seven, plus seven. All right, so obviously we're above by at least um, one, whatever you call that. <laughs> Plus one. Um, all right, now we're going down to the bottom dot. See where that stops running. Okay, that is at negative two. So it all needs to be shifted about one. All right, so how do we do that? All right, let's put it back on zero. And 
stop the turntable and turn it off. You know, make sure you want to turn it off. You should unplug it, but I'm not going to do that for the sake of this video. <clears throat> Pop the thing back off. And now you just got to go into this little blue thing and adjust it. I believe counterclockwise is the way we want to go. I'm going to turn it maybe, maybe like from, it was facing, the arrow was facing at 12 o'clock. I'm going to put it at about 9 o'clock. See how it goes. Now this is where trial and error really sets in. So put the platter back on, turn the table back on, and hit the start button again. Now the zero should always kind of stay at zero if you have like the indicator like here, right? So let's start at uh, zero. It's still the same, and let's go up to three. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, so now it's past four, so that means that I turned the screw the wrong way, okay? So it was at four before, now it's at like 4.5, almost five. All right, so we're gonna take that platter off again and we're gonna turn it counterclockwise before. Now I'm gonna turn it clockwise and put it at about nine o'clock because that was almost a whole step. Now, yeah, it was pointing straight at the pitch at 12 o'clock and now I'm gonna put it at three o'clock, okay? It's a little bit of trial and error. The more you do it, the more it makes sense. Okay, so platter's back on, turn it back on again. Obviously zero stays at zero, okay? And now, we got the Pitch fader kind of locked in like right around two. Like you, I'm seeing that curve. Yeah, let's see, two. Okay, that's right on. It's a little bit less than three. Okay? So stop the platter, turn it off. Now, what's that tell us? It was at 12 o'clock before, and we put it to three o'clock. So I'm gonna just go right in between there. Put it, I guess that would be like 130 or something like that. Right in between. That should get us pretty close. All right, once again, turn the turntable back on. Hit the start button. Zero is still zero. And there we go. That's right that three. And it is staying steady. Probably fine tune it a little bit more, but this is pretty good. Now we're gonna go up to six. And that's kind of tough to see. Oh yeah, that's a little bit less than six. Um, that was a bit of minus three. That is still pretty pretty off. So that's still on two. Now depends on the turntable. You can't always get it perfect. But once again, turn it off, take the platter off, and I'm going to put it just a little bit closer to clockwise. I mean, this thing is pretty sensitive. So just one more time. And this should, this should get us close enough. You'll never have a perfectly calibrated turntable if it's super old. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. All right, so zero is still zero. Then three is right pretty much on the money right now. It's like right at 3.3, I believe. And then we're going up to six. Pretty hard to tell. Yep, right on the money on six. And now going down below. Oh yeah, there we go. That's, well, it's still on two, but what you gonna do? Your plus three and your plus six work fine. Close enough. So what do you gotta do now? is, um, you know, basically put the thing back together. Take the platter off, make sure the turntable's switched up to the off position. Mine was actually on just now. And redo the screws. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. All right, platter back on. And there you go. We have a brand new, perfectly calibrated turntable. Well, the minus isn't quite perfect, but 
This is a very old version, um, and it was very, very, very far off. So now it'll be more long. What does that mean? That means if you have the left turntable and the right turntable, both at, let's say, plus four, they're going to stay together for a lot longer. Um, they might eventually slip apart, but that's just the nature of turntables. If you're using CDJs or a controller, you don't have this problem. But we all love our turntables. All right, well, anyway, this is how to calibrate your turntable on DJ Color TV, and 